Isasagawa po natin ngayon ang rito ng pagbabasbas sa korona na Adviento at ang pagsisindi sa unang kandila nito. Tayo pong lahat ay magsitayo. Sa ngala ng Ama at ng Anak at ng Espiritu Santo, Amen. sumain niyo ang Panginoon at sumain niyo rin ang tumutulong sa atin ay ang Panginoon na may gawa ng langit at lupa. Manalangin tayo. Ama naming makapangyarihan, kaming iyong, kaming iyong sambayanan ay masayang naghihintay sa pagdating ng aming manunubos na siyang magbibigay kaliwanagan sa aming mga puso at magwawaksi sa dilim ng kamangmangan at kasalanan. Padaluyin mo ang iyong pagpapala sa amin habang binabasbasan ang koronang ito, nawa ang liwanag ng mga kandilang aming sisindihan ay magpamalas ng kaluwalhatian ni Kristo ang aming Panginoon Magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Nais ko po ngayon tawagin ang ating mga candle sponsors, Mrs. Lucina and Eugene Trinidad and family. Ama naming bukal ng pag-asa, sa pamamagitan ng iyong salita, ay pinagiging banal mo ang lahat. Ipagkaloob mo sa amin ang makapaghanda ng aming mga sarili at gawing ang daigdig ay maging ganap para sa pagsilang ng iyong anak. Hinihiling namin ito sa pamamagitan ni Kristong hukom ng sandibutan at pag-asa ng sangkatauhan na bubuhay na kasama mo at ng Espiritu Santo magpasawalang hanggan Amen. Sumain niyo ang Panginoon at sumain niyo rin at pagpalain kayo ng makapangyarihang Diyos, Ama, Anak at Espiritu Santo. Amen. Let us sing the entrance hymn. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today is the first Sunday of Advent. Advent, it marks the period wherein we are to 
prepare for the coming of our Lord. May we in our hearts, in our heart of hearts, find it in us to prepare always, always for the coming of our Lord, regardless of any season. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through, through my, my fault, fault through, through my fault, fault through, through my, my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore, I ask Blessed, blessed Mary, Mary, Ever Virgin, all, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant your faithful, we pray, Almighty God, the resolve to run forth to meet your Christ with righteous deeds at his coming, so that, gathered at his right hand, they may be worthy to possess the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. You, Lord, are our Father, our Redeemer, you are named forever. Why do you let us wander, O Lord, from your ways, and harden our hearts, so that we fear you not? Return for the sake of your servants, the tribes of your heritage, O oh, that you will rend the heavens and come down with the mountains quacking before you. While you wrought us some deeds we could not hope for, such as they had not heard from the old, no ear ever heard, no eye ever seen, any God but you doing such deeds for those who wait for him. Would you that might meet us doing right, that we are, were mindful of he, you in our ways, Behold, you are angry, and we are sinful. All of us have become unclean people. All our good deeds are like polted drugs. We have all withered with like thieves, and our guilt carries us away like the wind. There is no one who calls upon your name, who roses himself to cling to you. For you have hidden your face from us. And, deliver, and have delivered us up to our guilt. Yet, O Lord, you are our Father. We are the clay, and you are the potter. We are all the work of your hands. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. O shepherd of Israel, hearken from your throne upon the cherubim, cherubim. Shine forth, rouse your power, and come to save us. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. Once again, O Lord of hosts, look down from heaven and see 
take care of this vine and protect what your right hand has planted, the Son of Man whom you yourself made strong. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face and we shall be saved. May your help be with the man of your right hand, with the Son of Man whom you yourself made strong. Then we will, then we will no more withdraw from you. Give Lord, us new love, new life, and we will count upon your name. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face and we shall be saved. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always on your account for the grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus, that in him you were enriched in every way with all discourse and all knowledge, as the testimony to Christ was confirmed among you, so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift, as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you firm to the end, irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, and by Him, you were called to fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all rise. And with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Be watchful, be alert. You do not know when the time will come. It is like a man traveling abroad. He leaves home and places his servants in charge, each with his own work, and orders the gatekeeper to be on the watch. Watch, therefore, you do not know when the Lord of the house is coming, whether in the evening, or at midnight, or at cockcrow, or in the morning. May he not come suddenly and find you sleeping. What I say to you, I say to all. Watch. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Good afternoon, Father. Today is the first Sunday of Advent, and to us Catholics, Advent is very important for us because this season marks the period of uh, preparation for the celebration of the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Advent begins today, today, and we spend this time preparing for the coming of our Lord. Yes, He's already here. He's come already to us. Did He not? But we are not only preparing symbolically for what happened in the past, for what happened in history. Advent is also a time to recall that Jesus will come to us 
during the end of days, end of days, and we will not be able to tell when. That's why the gospel says, watch, be alert, be watchful. My dear brothers and sisters, we live in a time in between two significant events in the whole of humanity. The first is, of course, the birth of our Lord, incarnation. And the second, the coming of Jesus, the parousia, the second coming. We live in between both of these very important events. However, Jesus is not asking us to just wait on Him, just looking at the stars or living our lives however we want to live our lives, but still waiting for Him. Advent is a time to continue the work He left us before He went to the Father. Remember this, He told he told us, he told the apostles, Go then to all peoples everywhere and make them my disciples. Baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and teach them to obey everything I have commanded you. And I will be with you always till the end of age. So Advent is a time to prepare for this. Advent is a time to see how well we've prepared for that assignment, to see how well we are doing, if we are doing anything at all, this assignment to us by Jesus. Do we live Jesus so that everyone can see that He is our Lord and Savior? Kita ba sa pamumuhay natin? na si Jesus ang ating tagapagligtas? Do we make sure we put in the work, we put in the effort to follow the commandments? Do we even know the commandments? Do we even know what it commands us to do? Do we make it a necessary point to help out our needy brothers and sisters? Do we really want to start spreading the kingdom of God here on earth? My dear brothers and sisters, remember that I said there are two very important events in the life of humanity. The birth of Christ, second, His second coming. There is a third one, a very important event in our lives. And that is the arrival of Jesus in your hearts. Jesus will only be there if we've done well today. If we've done our assignment. If we live Jesus. If we lead our lives preparing for that moment. The moment that He comes back and will judge us. Our hearts, my dear brothers and sisters, they were made by the Lord for the Lord. May we always make it a point to check, check our hearts. If Jesus is really in it, if Jesus is already in our hearts at all times, check if your hearts has Jesus in let us all stand and profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, 
the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. As we start this Advent season, let us approach the Lord with confident hope and a sincere desire to welcome Him into our lives. Together, let us pray, Come, Lord Jesus, and save us. Come, Lord Jesus, and save us. For the entire Christian community, may it be a shining example for, to the rest of mankind with its unflinching hope and constant readiness to do God's will. Let us pray. Come, Lord Jesus, and save us. For the Holy Father, Pope Francis, our bishops, priests, and all consecrated persons, may they find in us the consolation they expect us, they do their best to lead us closer to God. Let us pray. Come, Lord Jesus, and save us. For those who find it hard to give time to spiritual matters, may they set their priorities right by giving God the first place in their lives. Let us pray. Come, Lord Jesus, and save us. For those who are terminally ill and the dying, may this Advent season enkindle their hopes and help them to prepare for their decisive meeting with the Divine Judge. Let us pray. Come, Lord Jesus, and save us. For those who light of the Gospel has not yet reached, may they soon welcome Jesus as their Savior. Let us pray. Come, Lord Jesus, and save us. For the persons living with HIV or AIDS, may they find hope in Jesus in spite of their illness and be treated with Christ-like love and compassion by the people around them. Let us pray. Come, Lord Jesus, and save us. For the persons with disabilities, that people living with disabilities may be at the center of attention in society and that institutions may offer inclusive programs which value their active participation. Let us pray. Come, Lord Jesus, and save us. Lord, make us experience your presence, your presence as healing hope and strength. May we serve you with joyful and hopeful hearts throughout this Advent season. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. For those with envelope, envelope offerings, you may drop them at our collection baskets. Please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. 
Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us, and may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For He assumed at His first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when He comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. For those who cannot kneel, please remain standing with reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith So cruz mo at pagkabuhay, kami natubos mong tunay. O Jesus, naming mahal, iligtas mong kami tanay. Ngayon at magpakailan. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Gilbert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us all stand. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
For those who cannot kneel, please remain standing with reverence. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to share the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter, enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our second collection is intended for the continuing development of the parish and national shrine of St. Padre Pio. Thank you for your generosity. Oh, God. 
Let us all stand. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for intercession to Santo Padre Pio. All together, Padre Pio, holy monk from Pietrelcina, outstanding saint of the present era, our bright beacon in this earthly pilgrimage, our sanctuary in time of trouble, Holy exemplar of great courage, with you our needs do we confide, as well as our livelihood, our health, and our might. Unworthy as we are, we pray that you concede, bless and grace us that our lives may be fulfilled. From sin may we abstain, in God may we remain, 
we also beseech thee, servant of the Most Holy, to instruct us in the Gospel, that we may reflect and believe our requests are before thee, our hearts repent, resolving earnestly to not sin again, to always follow God the Father, together with the Spirit and Jesus the Mediator. Amen. Magsiupo muna po ang lahat para sa ilang patalastas. Una sa inyong pagdalaw sa pambansang dambana, mangyaring pakaingatan ang inyong mga personal na gamit. Hangad namin ang isang matiwasay at maayos na pagbisita sa National Shrine. Ikalawa, mga kapiyo, kami po ay humihingi na inyong konting oras at pakikiisa para sa pagsusulat ng inyong mga pangalan at ilang detalye sa ating Pilgrim's Information Record Book na makikita sa paligid ng ating simbahan at ng buong pambansang dambana. Ito po ay bilang bahagi ng documentation program para sa pagpapalawig ng datos at turismong pangsimbahan. Ikatlo, isang panawagan din sa ating mga kapiyo na tayo ay makatulong sa St. Francis de Sales Major Seminary sa Barangay Marawoy, Lipa City. Ito po ang bahay formasyon ng mga kabataang lalaki na hinuhubog upang tumugon sa panawagan ng Diyos sa buhay pagpapari. Mga kapatid, manalangin tayo sa Diyos sa mga makapangyarihan upang tayo ay maging kawangis ni Kristo sa taimtim na pagdalangin sa tulong ng mga larawan at mga dasalan. O Panginoong Diyos, Ikaw ang bukal ng lahat ng pagpapala at biyaya. Ibuhus mo ang iyong bendisyon. Sa mga gamit na ito sa pananalangin na nagpapaalaala ng iyong kabutihan, kabanalan at pagmamahal sa amin, upang ang lahat na dumulog at magdasal gamit ang mga ito ay magtamo ng iyong awa at biyaya. Loobin mong tularan nila at ang kabanalan at aral ng Panginoon at ng mga santo magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Amen. Sama-sama po tayong manalangin. Ama namin, sumasalangit ka, sambahin ang ngalan mo, mapasa amin ang kaharian mo, Sundin ang loob mo dito sa lupa para nang sa langit. Bigyan mo kami ngayon ng aming kakanin sa araw-araw at patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala para nang pagpapatawad namin sa nagkakasala sa amin. At huwag mo kaming ipahintulot sa tukso at iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Amen. Abagi noong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukot kang pinagpala sa babaing lahat at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, Ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Lulahati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara noong una, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Ama namin, sumasalangit ka, sambahin ang ngalan mo. Napasa amin ang kaharian mo, sundin ang loob mo dito sa lupa para nang sa langit. Bigyan mo kami ngayon ng aming kakanin sa araw-araw at patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala para nang pagpapatawad namin sa nagkakasala sa amin. At huwag mo kaming ipahintulot sa tukso at iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Amen. Lolhati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, Kapara noong una, ngayon, at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Lulhati sa Ama, sa Anak, at sa Espiritu Santo. Kapara noong una, ngayon, at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.